Today's story is called, If You Give a Moose a Muffin. The author is Laura Numerov and the illustrator is Felicia Bond. Today, as we read this story, we're going to be listening for vocabulary words. The first vocabulary word we're going to be listening for is antlers. That is branched horn of a deer. When you hear the word antlers in the story, do the motion in the picture. Our next vocabulary word that we will be listening for is jam, and that is a food made of fruit and sugar. When you hear the word jam in the story, do the motion in the picture of spreading jam on a piece of toast. The last vocabulary word that we will be listening for is called scenery. That is a view or a landscape. The motion you can do when you hear the word scenery in the story is hold up your pretend binoculars and pretend that you're looking at a beautiful scenery. If you give a moose a muffin, he'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another, and another, and another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you. When you open the door and feel how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts the sweater on, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. So he'll ask for some old socks. He'll make sock puppets. When they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paints. Then he'll ask you to help make the scenery. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, boo! It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paints. So he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, he'll want a muffin to go with it. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the book, If You Give a Moose a Muffin, by author Laura Numeroff and illustrator Felicia Bond. Were you listening for those vocabulary words? I was, and I was doing the motions. Let's go back over the vocabulary words one more time. I heard the word jam. Remember, jam is a food made of fruit and sugar. And our motion for it was spreading our jam on our piece of toast. Also, I heard the word antlers. Remember, antlers are branched horns of a deer. Every time I heard the word antlers, I was doing the motion for it. Were you? I hope so. And the last word we heard was scenery. Remember that is a view or a landscape. Every time I heard the word scenery, I put on my pair of binoculars. I hope you did too. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.